The CFPB is the Consumer Financial Protection Bureau. Uh, it's a newly created Consumer Protection Bureau that was created as a result of the Dodd-Frank Act of about two years ago, uh, passed by Congress as a result of the financial crisis. I'm Joe Liniak. I'm a partner at Pillsbury Winthrop Shaw Pittman. Going forward, the challenge to both to businesses and to the CFPB has to do with the examination function. The CFPB, they're the new kids in the block. They're still learning. They don't know what to ask. They're asking for all sorts of information, and everyone has to adjust to that. Another issue the CFPB is about to uh, undertake is a complete rewrite of the rules governing the, the residential mortgage industry in the United States. It is breathtaking in scope. It deals with application, loan closing, servicing, secondary market. The CFPB has a very substantial mortgage initiative which is going to come, uh, come to pass January 21st of this year. And it is going to completely determine how mortgages are originated, who gets them, and who qualifies for them on a go-forward basis, probably for the foreseeable future. Looking at perhaps the, uh, the wins and losses for the CFPB, the CFPB has got some very, very talented people. Half of all the people have only been there, though, for less than six months, maybe nine months, and they have to develop an esprit de corps. They've got policy issues they've got to decide, which are going to end up cascading down in terms of their enforcement, the way they view things, the way they view consumer compliance. And in addition, they've got the obligation of working with consumers to make sure that they convey educational materials crucial to protected classes and to underserved communities. So it's a twofold duty, and, uh, but they're working very hard to try to achieve it.